give the uh, now we are going to give the uh, sciatic block it is subgluteal sciatic block and uh, approach is lateral so we have palpated the greater trochanter this is the greater trochanter knot this is the arc and the posterior most surface is taken and from there we take 2 cm 0.2 cm down and then 4 cm uh, towards caudad the point which we get is the point of entry for a sciatic block here you don't need to change the position of the patient and the response we will see is again the plantar flexion or the dorsiflexion the uh, advantage here is that patient will not have any pain because of change of position so now we are targeting the sciatic nerve so we are going a bit posterior with the posterior angulation and targeting for the common peroneal or the tibial component and we have started getting the this is the inversion so this is basically common peroneal component we should get deep bit deep so that we start getting the tibial component let's see now we have just started getting the plantar component see plantar component has started appearing so little bit deep and we have started getting the plantar component solely plantar this is at 1.6 and see the needle almost in okay. and that is the plantar response now dial down dial down it is at 1.6 1.2 still there dial down 1 still there 0.8 still there 0.6 still there Point four eight, just there. Point five, still there. Okay. Fine manipulations little bit. It is just there. Okay. Point seven, there. Point five. Point five, just disappearing. Okay. So now we will aspirate and see whether it is going properly or not. Thank you.